two, three. There are two types of Amazon professionals. There's those that they want to work with brands. They are resellers, service providers of all stripes, uh, agencies, you name it. They want to work with brands. They want to find the brands. And then the other, they're the brands themselves or the, they're launching, you know, they can be small private label brands. That still counts. And they just want to sell more today than they did. They want to sell more today than they did yesterday. So uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, three different categories of things. You know, I'm going to talk about these two types of Amazon sellers. We're going to jump into product categories that I would launch in today. And some, uh, you know, I actually have a brother that's launching a product <coughs> in a category that I'm like excited about. I've got a good friend, a coworker launching in a category. I'm like, these categories have legs. So let's talk about a few criteria right there. And then, then I got a few observations that go against the grain. Some uh, news items. Today is Black Friday, 2024. Uh, why am I doing this right now? Well, it's my only time that I have. I uh, am uh, a, uh, a dad of two very young girls and uh, it's eight o'clock at night and there's the only time I can record. And I've got just like lots of ideas that I've been like cooking up for the last few weeks. So super excited to, to share them with you. But uh, first, let's talk about those two types of Amazon professionals. See, I've got a friend, uh, sorry, not a friend, a former colleague, this is five, six years ago, buy boxer days, um, very sharp guy, and he went to trade shows for us, and he was, you know, essentially helping us find great brands to work with. And, um, you know, he's, he, he, he left us for greener pastures. Uh, by greener pastures, I mean actually pattern. I worked there for a little while, then he moved on. Um, if he's listening, he definitely already knows I'm talking about him. Um, he eventually worked for Built Bar, and um, finally, he you know he went from service providers to a brand. And he said when he started working for Built Bar, like his job's just like way easier. He's only doing one thing. He's just trying to sell protein bars all day. Doesn't matter to who. Doesn't matter why. You know he could t be talking to, you know. Uh, a wholesale operation, a distribution operation. He wants to sell protein bars. He could be going on Amazon. He's their Amazon guy. He's just selling protein bars. He can fill multiple hats in the same company, uh, just accomplishing one thing. And that's generally what brand owners want to do. Whereas they're the type two, the type one, you know, the people that are trying to work with brands and obviously a lot of cases like give legitimate services. Um, whether they are resellers, uh, they do PPC, whatever, they're looking for brands. And uh, so I, it, was, it was kind of just interesting to me to hear someone that actually works for a brand and like, ah, it's, it's, an easier, it's an easier job, in, 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 at least from uh, strategically, you know, you're not putting on multiple hats every day. So you can refine some of your skills a little bit better by only thinking through one, uh, use case. So I've spent more of my time as the number one. Uh, I've done number two, but I, you know, I've spent so much time working on finding the best brands that I eventually became the guy that helps others find the best brands to work with. Now, um, here's just a few ways that I can help you. Uh, if you're listening for the first time, um, some of these will be new, but others, they kind of already know it. Um, I've got a database of millions of brands. Uh, this is, you know, across 11 Amazon marketplaces. This is a tool called Smart Scout. It just helps you understand what's going on and what brands are worth it. Um, the next, I've got a, uh, we've been going to a lot of trade shows and we've analyzed uh, over 100 trade shows, probably 200, um, and we find the best of the best. These are the trade shows that have like, you know, 50 Amazon brands that are attending. And then we just give you uh, a report on all of them. You know, hey, uh, CES, 3,000 <laughs> booths at CES, the electronics show. And um, here's the 100 that you actually would be interested in talking to if Amazon is your game. Uh, considering that's generally all I talk about, you probably will uh, be interested in that. All you do is just Google Smart Scout trade shows and you'll see about 15 trade shows right there. You can get a report on each one of them and you don't have to attend or you can attend and all of a sudden you know who to talk to. That's how we use it. 
So another way I could help you is um, I've launched a conference for uh, Amazon sellers that want to work with brands. It's called Ames United. Um, I've spent a lot of money trying to make, uh, trying to under, understand these brands and like the criteria around them that might be the most interesting. Um, so you could find your ideal brand. You know, there's half a million brands. For you, there's the best of the best. There's the top 20 brands that'd be like, okay, I think I could work with them. I think they'd be in my like, you know, these would be our ideal brands. Um, and finally, you know, if you actually want to reach brands, I've got a newsletter with 40,000 uh, people that read it. Uh, you, you, you can sponsor it. It costs like, I think, what is the latest price? See, about $5 million. No, not really. It's uh, far more, it's actually, uh, a few more orders of magnitude less expensive. Uh, it's just uh, it's a it's a mix of Amazon professionals, generally speaking. You know, brands. I don't get a ton of sponsors, but you know, these are just like ways that I can help you find brands if you happen to be in Type One. But I'm actually going to jump into Type Two for just a second because it just got me thinking as I was putting this these ideas together that um, I am spending time. Uh, launching products, talking to people that are launching products and figuring out how to help them. Um, so in, uh, and this actually did start through Amazon, uh, sorry, Smart Scouts subcategories tool. That's where we have all 40,000 categories on um, Amazon. We analyze them, the criteria around them. Recently, we put in the Chinese sellers, what percentage of these categories are Chinese sellers and you know, there's some major categories that think grocery, beauty, consumables, pet products, uh, that Chinese sellers really aren't very present, anywhere from zero to 20%. And those are great categories because there's a few reasons, you know, why they don't. Uh, suppliers are in the US. Suppliers for most consumables, they're already in the US. And um, I can enumerate, if you just like, if you've ever bought from China, uh, manufacturers and all the headaches imagine the biggest headaches are gone you know your turnaround time is two weeks instead of three four months your um you could call them on the phone during regular business hours um these are products that you know that like sure there's gonna be competition but not gonna be competition that's just gonna be like totally rock bottom ruthless and I mean, I say that with respect to Chinese sellers, they make a lot of stuff work that, you know, frankly, I can't quite. Um, and so when I think of like, if I were to launch a product today, uh, categories today, and the way that I'm thinking and advising people and advising, you know, people close to me is get ahead of multi-year trends. Um, actually, I think, you know, I don't really follow politics. I'm like doing a no news thing. I've done it for like three or four months. Uh, side note, I didn't even know who the vice president pick was for Harris for like the first, like, you know, not until like a week before the election, just really just trying to stay off the news. Um, but I do know that like, there's some health uh, conversations about like new foods or like getting away of other foods. And so certainly those are gonna, those are some multi-year trends in consumables and I would look up and down, there's probably 4,000 categories in uh, Smart Scout that kind of hit this uh, consumable space for anything from supplements um, on down. And so, you know, get ahead of these multi-year trends. It's, uh, you're gonna do well. And consumables, repeat purchase. Also consumables, it's easier to build a real brand and not just be a product Trust me, I've been a Chinese private label seller for a few years now. We have products, we don't have a brand. Uh, there were some ideas of a random brand, but kind of dropped the ball. Um, that's on me. But, um, so, you know, that's what I would do today if I was trying to push uh, this uh, into, into new categories. And I've seen some cool stuff. I got some friends that are launching. Um, and yeah, those are the best. Now, if you want to see some multi-year trends, um, I have a tool called Amazon Search Trends. So it's free-ish. It's a kind of freemium. Just Google Smart Scout Amazon Search Trends. 
wow, I'm already hitting Smart Scout way too hard. I got to back off. Or you guys are never going to listen again. Just kidding. This is the smartest Amazon seller podcast. We are all going to become smarter because of it. Uh, of <clears throat> um, the, the the different ideas, and I know like I'm right because I see it in the data. Well, I know there's some truth. <laughs> I'm not going to be that arrogant. Okay. Um, now here's just some some anecdotes, things that I'm th- putting together in my newsletter, things that I'm writing about. Um, premium beauty on Amazon. There's a difference between like so. There used to be it used to be called luxury beauty. I think they're calling it premium beauty now. And we are seeing. I've spoken with L'Oreal. I've spoken with a few other beauty aggregators out there. L'Oreal's kind of like the one that's like a, does about a billion dollars on Amazon through their portfolio. There, there's this thing called premium beauty. If you sell in Sephora or Ulta, any of these like major retailers, um, you qualify for premium beauty. Uh, the brand owners that is, and they're giving brand gating. So, you know, there's some resellers that are quietly, you know, shrieking, no. Well, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. You might lose uh, a few brands there if this goes through, and it looks like it is. I've seen a few brands that have hit this gating and boom, they shut it down. Amazon wants these brands to invest in Amazon, and they wanna, create a, a good experience, and uh, this is their easy way to do that. I don't have too many other comments, but other than just like, just be aware of this, I think it's um, uh, pretty interesting. So, um, now, um, I've, been, I've been writing a lot more. It's kind of been a, a year-end goal to like have something, a post written every single day uh, till end of the year. Um, every weekday and I've done a pretty good job of it and but my content is kind of like it's been a little bit circular um, I post something on LinkedIn if it does really well it's really engaging really exciting I bring it to the podcast which then usually kicks over a video that goes back to LinkedIn now that's just like one of the platforms that I, I ride on and so the, some of these things that I've talked about you know I've already seen the engagement they're a little bit refined ideas and Writing makes all the difference. It's fun. You know, that's my ideal afternoon. No meetings and just the ability to like look into some data, look into like trends out there and find something. Here's a really interesting observation. And in fact, um, I'm going to share my screen for those that are watching instead of uh, listening. Here we go. Look at this, I'm just Google, I'm putting on Amazon CPU processor. Never seen anything like this. When you think of CPUs, I think most of you have heard of the main brand, Intel. Intel is a name, is a household name, but they have one competitor uh, in the CPU, uh, the, the desktop computer CPU market, and that is AMD. Now, if you just go, if you just type in CPU processor into uh, Amazon, you will see a lot of sponsored results for Intel. They got sponsored brand. They got sp- the top sponsored product. They have sponsored video. You'll see zero advertisements for AMD, but AMD has one, two, three, four, five, six of the top organic placements, and before you see an Intel one, and then you see one, two. Okay, then it starts to get a little bit more mixed. I swear I've been here and I've seen even more organic for for AMD. What's going on? How could a name brand company that is investing a lot in advertising lose so bad um, on Amazon? Really, it just kind of comes down to price points and I think AMD is kind of hitting that hobbyist uh, consumer and, and winning there. But it's just really cool to see because there's some compelling Intel. I've bought an Intel processor off of uh, Amazon. I'd do it again. I'd probably buy Intel just by brand name alone. But AMD must be just like, just have higher conversion and uh, you know a higher value for uh, the dollar and consumers kind of know it. So um, kind of see something that goes against the grain. Just wanted to show that off. 
Um, I guess while I'm at it, you know, here is the, the, the trade show site for Smart Scout. If you're watching this, check it out. You can click on each one of them. Here's, yeah, moving on. Um, so uh, let's land this plane. Um, talked about premium beauty, talked about Intel, talked about, uh, you know, ways to find brands. Um, now, you know, you think that like your uh, this podcast, like I do it just for the, the fun of it. No, there's one thing that I want from you. you. You and I, we can we can benefit from each other. I'm putting together a survey and I need to get my goal, I need to get 500 responses. We're halfway there. So if you're listening, do me one favor, Google Smart, Sco Smart Scout Voice of the Amazon Seller. And we have like questions that you know, Amazon's not going to ask. We have questions like, you know, is seller support stopping you from growing your business? Have you raised prices because of Amazon fees? Um, how much do you pay yourself? Um, stuff like that. So um, we could get an idea of some of these hard hitting questions. And if you fill out the survey, I can give you the results. If you don't fill out the survey, there's no promise that you're gonna be able to see this. So please uh, jump in and, and fill out the survey. That's my one call to action for today's show. Um, and initial results are very interesting, but I need more so I can tease out, you know, if you're this type of seller, then you have this experience. I need, it, I need enough that I can be very confident that it's not noisy data. Yeah, I'm, an, I'm a data guy. I've got a, you know, some, some probability people on my team and and they say, I need more results. So please uh, fill that out. That's, that's what you could do for me on Black Friday 2024. I hope I did enough for you to make this uh, episode interesting. And uh, thank you for uh, spending a bit of time. And already I'm rambling. Let's get out of here. Take care. One, two, three. Yeah.